Hi, today is Tuesday, January 19th, and I'm really glad to join you. We've had an amazing couple days, and I'm getting a lot of response from everyone about this blog posting. Thank you for your comments and your suggestions. On Tuesdays, we talk about health. Yesterday, um, we did a really great exercise in exercising our faith and talking about having the end in mind. And when I was thinking about health, I was thinking about all the suggestions that have come to us over the years in regards to stress and reducing stress. Now, the uh, Stress Management Society defines stress as a situation where demands on a person exceed the person's ability to cope. And, okay, we know that, duh. But I think some of us are addicted to stress. I think some of us um, define our roles in life by the amount of stress that we're under. And, and the reason I say this is, is I have a story. Um, when I was a general manager in the hotel industry, we would go to conventions together and everyone would get together and they would talk about how hard they were working and all the things that were going on and, and how many hours they put in per week. and. And, you know, I got to thinking about how unhealthy it was and how really the competition should be, how few hours we put in and the results that we get and how productive we are and how high our customer satisfaction scores we were and how low our turnover was and how under budget we were and all those things that were um, measurables for our success as a general manager of a hotel without the number of hours. So I made it my personal goal to achieve that. And in this past year, in 2015, I used a, a system and a tool called Time Secrets that helped me reduce the number of hours I work to 30 hours a week. And it's not that hard. And I actually get more done in 30 hours a week work. That's my work time than um, anyone else I know. And it has reduced my stress. It has helped me to be laser focused. Um, and so... All of you, I want to inspire each of you to, you know, use the tools that I've attached here. They're from a rep, the Stress Management Society has put together amazing tools to help you not only gauge how much stress you're under, but also reduce it. And once you've reduced it, then don't go back to it ever again. When you have achieved peace like I have, you never want to go back there again. And so I want to inspire you to the number one thing you can do for your health is reduce your stress. Do it today. Don't go another day. In, in, and you might say to me, well, Michelle, you don't know. Oh, I know. I was working way too much. I was taking care of way too many things. I didn't delegate. I didn't ha use my team. And I didn't turn it off. And you have to do that. So... We look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Tomorrow is our day that we're going to be talking about marriages. It's Wednesday, hump day. Yes, that innuendo is intentional. And we're going to be talking about um, intimacy. And I hope that will inspire you to watch. Have a great day.